All right, on the uh, list of things to do today, this is a uh, second video of uh, this Dutchman RV here. Uh, we have some problems with the brakes. Brake lines that go to the back, and that is this guy right here, and this guy right here. See, someone's shoved a piece of uh, rubber tu tubing in there as a, as a quick fix. Very dangerous on a vehicle like this. These are extremely rusted. This, this RV has only got to drive once, but it's got to drive fairly safe. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to replace uh, this brake line here. This section here, which hopefully we just cut and splice in. We're going to see how that goes. Probably not going to be able to hold the camera while doing this, but uh, make a All right, here's the section of brake line that we've removed. And the, the new, new brake line. New brake line is right there. Now, I'm definitely wanting to address this. Somebody spliced in a piece of rubber hose into this brake line, which is not safe, especially on a vehicle like this. So I am going to replace that as well. But uh, as for right now, I have to get figure out what's going on with this wheel over here is more important. Um, I'm going to zoom in here. So you can see that this tire here is... Here, let me shine the light over there. You can see that this tire is is worn on the inside. No more tread and it's actually down to the metal. Alright, so uh, <clears throat> the other thing that has to happen with this is that uh, it's always on my on my mat here. As you can see this wheel here as you can see it's extremely worn on the inside very unsafe and it's kind of angled well, that's the whole reason why it's this camera angle I was trying it makes it look extreme but I suppose it is it is Jesus sorry I keep doing that anyways uh I'm trying to figure out why the wheel's like that. I was thinking maybe ball joints would blow out, but ball joints look okay. And I realize, try to figure it out, try to figure it out. Looking at this spring here, comparing one side to the other, that spring is quite compressed. And you can see we have this much clearance between that bumper. And then if you look on this side here, See if there's a way you can get it. See, we have a lot more clearance between the bumper and the area right there, and that tire is not as slanted. It's still a little bit slanted, but I think, and you can see that the springs aren't as compressed. So, whereas on this side, See that spring is really compressed, so it's this is like in a in a. I think maybe the weight of the RV is just ruined that spring. Maybe I, I really don't know. Hard for me to say. This does have airbags. They do not work anymore. All right, if you watch my introduction video to this <clears throat> RV, you're gonna. See that I pointed out uh, a bit of an accident that this was involved in, involving a logging road. 
actually had to call a pickup truck to come and uh, get this out. I'll show you how serious this was. Um, now, the reason why I'm under here is because I'm trying to actually get the spare tire off to put on the front. Um, so we have a look around here. See the hitch here. Now that hitch likely saved this RV from suffering more damage than it to the back end than it than it probably would have. You see that there it's connected with a bracket here. And uh, if you look closely at the hitch, you'll notice it's bent in an upward direction, and these brackets are sort of bent upwards as well. Um, <clears throat> just show you how what the force is involved here. This bracket that holds the uh, hitch to the frame of the RV is torn, as you can see there. Just torn like a piece of paper. That's a heavy hitch that probably. Uh, well, at least a class 4 hitch, minimum, and you can see it's just that the brackets that hold this hitch on have been completely bent in the upwards direction and crushed. You see it's ripped off in the front there and crushed, crushed and buckled, crushed and, and buckled in the back. So <clears throat> these RVs are heavy. Now I'm trying to get the spare tire off, which would come off easily, theoretically, but that threaded piece of rod is also bent. And I'm trying, being very careful because this theoretically should swing down, but of course it doesn't now because that uh, threaded rod there is bent backwards. <clears throat> it's basically jamming that on. You see I started cutting it with the hacksaw up here right there but just being really careful this tire probably weighs 100 pounds so I don't want that to come down on top of me so I'm just taking my time here trying to be safe everything about these vehicles is heavy large and dangerous I've already had one mishap which I'll uh, all right get this tire get this tire off came off with not too much of a struggle I thought it was gonna kind of slam down but just kind of came down slowly so that's a good thing all right so here's our tire a bit dirty I'm gonna clean it up these aren't your usual tires these are truck tires rated at 3,500 pounds and 90 psi cold so yeah, that's why these old things are expensive. Nothing's uh, nothing's cheap when you're fixing these things up. All right, so here's how I got got this thing jacked up. I've already changed the tire on this. Um, and I'm just slowly getting it down. That's a 20-ton jack there. I've already taken the jack stands out, but I gotta say. Um, I, I do I, I don't like working on this thing I know uh, it's uh, just it's dangerous I don't really have the proper equipment and um, I mean nobody really does to be jacking up like you know th these uh, that's the other problem with these RVs they really belong in a truck center on a uh, proper lift um, but you know jacking a vehicle up this heavy is it's always a little sketchy and uh, this tire is still crooked, but uh, it's in better shape than the other one. And the tire itself is even heavy. I mean, the tire's got to be, I don't know. The tire there's got to be, I don't know. It's at least 80, 80 to 100 pounds for sure. It's not light, so it's hard to get around. Anyways, it's on. I'm going to put it down and torque her all down. Hopefully she'll be good enough to get to the camp.